Here's a guide to understanding the elevation and gradient feature in RV Trip Wizard, part of RV Life Pro, which also includes the RV Life GPS and Campgrounds app. RV Trip Wizard's elevation feature lets you view changes in elevation when planning your trip. This allows you to be aware of any steep climbs or descents and potentially reroute onto different roads if needed. To activate the elevation feature on most computer screens, click on the elevation tab located in the bottom part of the map area. A graph will appear with numbers and circles along the top, representing the elevation at each of your trip stops as numbered here in the trip tab. You can run your mouse cursor over the graph to see the actual elevation at any point on your journey. A red circle will appear and travel along your route as you move the cursor left or right along the graph. You can also close any open drawers by clicking on the Trip or Research tabs in order to have more horizontal space for your graph. To hide the elevation graph and view your map in full, just click on the blue elevation tab again. RVers using RV Trip Wizard on a tablet, mobile device, or smaller computer screen may find the elevation feature inside the Map Settings button instead of along the bottom. Just click on Map Settings and scroll down to the bottom of the Map Overlays section. Switching this to On will bring up your elevation graph to the top of your screen. Keep in mind that depending on the length of your trip, RV Trip Wizard may compress the graph to fit onto your screen. To hide the elevation graph and return to your map in full, go back into the Map Settings menu and toggle the Elevation layer to Off. The Gradient feature gives RV Trip Wizard users an easy way to quickly check on road grades along their routes. To view the gradient, first open up your Elevation tab. Once the elevation graph is loaded, click on the Show Gradient button to the right of the Elevation tab. On a smaller screen, tablet, or mobile device, the Show Gradient button should appear at the top of your elevation graph. After clicking the Show Gradient button, the graph will change from all blue to grayscale, with steeper grades displayed as darker colors. The key along the top shows the percent grade that corresponds to each color. Keep in mind that on longer trips, rapid elevation changes may not always display correctly on this graph due to limited screen space especially on smaller screens, tablets, or mobile devices. If you are planning a very long trip with numerous stops covering hundreds of miles, you may prefer to create a separate new trip file to effectively zoom in on a particularly mountainous leg of your journey. RV Trip Wizard has multiple tools to help you make the best decisions regarding your route. Back on the computer screen, we can again close up the Trip and Research tabs to create a larger viewing area for the elevation graph. We can see with the gradient shown that there are a few high-grade parts of our route here in red. Let's move our mouse to this 6% grade area. We can zoom in to make sure that the traveling red circle is at just the right portion of road that corresponds to that high grade. Then we can click and drag this street view icon in the lower right corner to that part of our route. If you see a black screen here, Check on the placement of your Street View person in the lower left inset. You may need to zoom out and click on a nearby blue portion of roadway. In this example, we can see that while there is a 6% grade at 10,000 feet, the road is a well-maintained, wide and divided freeway. So while we still want to descend at a controlled and safe speed, there are no steep drop-offs without barriers that may make some RVers nervous. Here is another section showing a 6% grade. Again, we can zoom in and move our mouse along the graph to the red area to pinpoint the road in question on our map. Then, we drag and drop the street view icon onto that area and we can see that on this stretch of highway, the road is just two lanes with no divider. And further along the same highway there are no barriers and very little to no shoulder next to a steep drop-off. Again, RV Trip Wizard is giving you the information you need to make a decision about your route. If this looks like a portion of road you want to avoid, you can decide to reroute. To do this, you can use the drag route feature. Notice that this will override your selections in your trip settings. First, we'll click on the drag route button in the upper left. The button will turn red when active. Before moving our route, it may help to make sure that show campgrounds and show POIs are both toggled to off, and you may also want to zoom out or click on show entire trip to get a better overview of the map. We'll move the mouse over to the existing route where a white dot will appear. Then we can click and drag to move this white dot to the road we'd like to reroute to. 
You can then make sure that your new waypoint keeps you on the main road by zooming in and dragging. Sometimes an imprecise drop at a zoomed out level can place your route onto side streets. This new adjustment will appear as a waypoint in your trip tab's list of stops. If you want to revert to the original route, click on the trash can icon next to the waypoint you want to delete in the trip tab. Once you're satisfied with your new route, make sure to click on the drag route button again to deactivate the feature so no accidental route changes are made. And that's it for the elevation and gradient features in RV Trip Wizard. As always, when you're ready to navigate your trip using your phone or mobile device, just open up your RV Life app, tap on the red menu bar, and then choose RV Trip Wizard. Here you'll find all your active trips ready to get on the road.